puzzles to see how we went from one figure to the other using reflections, rotations, and translations. During this video, I want you to pause the video and try to figure it out before I show you what, what the answer is. So look at this first one. How do they go from the blue figure to the green figure? And I'm going to give you a hint. Every one of these is going to be two things. And again, your choices are reflections, translations, and rotations. So pause the video right now and see if you can figure out what we did. What did you come up with? Well, a lot of people, because we've just finished rotations, want to rotate this figure. And so we're going to go from the blue and we're going to rotate it. Now, if I rotate it 90 degrees, it's going to be right here. Well, obviously that can't be, so it would have to be 180 degrees. So we'll rotate it one turn, two turns, and by then it would be right here. Well, hey, then just translate it, right? Except there's a problem. Look at the E's and the F's. Is point E going to be on point E? Nope, not at all. So now we got to go back to the beginning. All right. Here's the real one. You translate it. You go down and over, and then you reflect it. And when you reflect it, it'll go right here. And now the F and the E are on top of each other. So the answer is translate and then reflect. All right, let's go on to the next one. Here we have two squares. How do they go from the blue square to the green square? Pause the video and see if you can figure it out. And then when you think you have it figured out, start the video back up. What would you come up with? I wonder if you got the right thing. Well, first of all, it cannot just be a translation. I mean, obviously here we have it on top of each other, but are our letters going to match up? And the answer is no. In fact, how do I get this Q to match up with that other Q? Well, I have to rotate it. I have to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. So here we go. And there it is. Oh, wow well, then. If I move it down and move it over, will the letters match up? Will my angles match up? Yep, sure enough. The Q goes with the Q, the P goes with the P, and the rest. Alrighty. So if you said rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise and then translate, you were right. One more. Take a look at this. And then I want you to pause the video and think about what your two sequence of events would get the blue one to be on top of the green one. Well, what'd you come up with? If you thought, well, hey, it's just a rotation, I want to show you something. If I rotate it 180 degrees, it's going to be in this quadrant, but it's going to be right here. It actually ending up to be a, a mirror image. Huh. So then you would think, okay, so let's just reflect it. Well, if I reflect it and I flip it like this, but when you reflect it from that quadrant, it's going to be down at this quadrant. But then what do you need to do? Just move it up. So that would be three different transformations. Rotate it, reflect it, and then translate it back up but there's an easier way to do this. Let's start back from the beginning. How about if we just reflect it to start with? And I'm going to reflect it and it's going to move over here. There we go, there's a reflection. And then just translate it up. And will the N, I mean I know they look kind of backwards, but will all the letters match up? Absolutely. So the best transformation, the best sequence of transformations for this one is to reflect it across the y-axis and then just translate it up. Well, hopefully you're ready to do a few on your own. Have fun!